This week, we're gonna be covering something which every single videographer has to do at some point. It's just part and parcel with life of this career. Like that's just, You're gonna to have to edit an interview at some point in time. Probably multiple times, be it a documentary, be it a case study video that you're doing for somebody, be it whatever it may be. Interviews are used all the time in video. And quite frankly, a lot of the time, they're a pain in the ass. And they take they take a while, they take a while to edit. So what I'm gonna be giving you today is three hacks and how you can edit interviews way, way faster. I'm, I'm one of which is gonna actually help you to do it. I'd say at least, at least double the pace, double the speed. Double. double. And why is this important? Obviously, we're all about getting cash whilst getting creative. Interviews are part and parcel of this career, but the faster you can edit them, the more you can do of them, the more money you can make because you can do more. You've got more capacity. The more videos you can make, the more you can sell, the more you can do, the more you can take on, the better your life is. So, should we get into it? We'll get into it. Okay, right, so here you are. So you've imported your footage. First thing that you're gonna do now, you're gonna sync those two clips together. So you've got your clip here, and the first thing that we're gonna do is quite literally something that should help you do this editing in double the time, and that's click on it, go to the time remapping area here, put it on fast, and put it on double speed. So now that you've changed that, you can listen to the video at double the speed. And what that means is that you can go through and find the parts that are actually worth listening to and also cut out all the shaft a lot faster. So once you go through and you start listening to the interview, you'll find the key areas that you want to put into the final edit. So it might be challenges. So once you've gone through and you've listened to your video and you've made markers along the path, you can then click the index here and that will reference where each of the individual key parts are. So when you come to actually cutting the interview together, you don't have to go through the laborious task of trying to find it all again. It's all there, you can route to it really quickly. You put your markers in so you can route to get to the parts that you want faster. Final hack to save you loads of time is So if you click on your video here, and you can look at the two different angles, there's angle one, there's angle two. This was shot on the Canon C100. This was shot on a Sony a7 III. As you can see, they're both very different. This one's maybe a little bit overexposed. This one's you know, quite desaturated. So what you're gonna do is go over into your effects tab. And if you look down here, I've got a little folder called My Presets. For the Canon C100, I can drag that, stick that on, and it automatically puts on a color board and a color curve. So now that I've created in previous edits that I've done. And what that does is just simply puts on a simple grade straight away and sorts out most of the problems. Same again here, if I grab the Sony a7 III, slap that on there, bosh, all of a sudden, it's, uh, you've, you've saved a bunch of time, you've made a preset, you can stick it on there. But Joe, I hear you ask, how on earth do you make these magical presets? Well, I'm glad that you asked. First of all, click on your clip, just root over here, click onto the color tab, whether it's color board, color wheels, color curves, whatever it is that floats your boat or a combination of all of them. And all of a sudden you got yourself a grade. Lovely, all right? So once you're happy with it, you go on to Save Effects Preset. Name it whatever you want. My Sony Preset of Destiny. Cool. And then Category. Click on here. Go down into New Category. Call it My Big Dirty Stinking Presets or you know, whatever you feel inclined to call it. My Sony preset of Destiny, off you go, click save, bosh. So now if I remove these, these effects on this piece of footage here, root over to my effects, look down, you will find that you have a tab called whatever you've called it, in this case, my big dirty stinking presets. 
click on the preset that you've made there, drag that across, bang, there you go. Your preset's on there, your color grade's on there, it will save you a bunch of time. Okay, people, that is it for this video. I hope you found it useful. I hope you found it of some value. If you did, I'd be really, really grateful if you'd be open-minded to giving me a little subscribe, hit the like button, hit the notification button. Drop a comment if you found it useful and drop a comment and let me know what you'd like to cover in any more videos. All right, cheers, take it easy, peace and bye.